conversation. Like, this is why we have to Let me just chill. Like, just be comfortable. Gotta make sure my posture isn't bad because... It's not bad. I have videos where I, I, I literally look and I'm sitting like this. And I'm like, just sitting like, I'm gonna tell you, if you're sitting like this. I'm gonna like, like, be like, be like, Rosa? What is up everyone? My name is Melissa Madrigal. I'm the creator of La Ura Magazine. If you're watching this, you've just entered La Ura Mode. Today on our sixth episode, guys, we're actually six episodes. If you've been watching this since day one, then you're an OG. For real, for real. But on our sixth episode of La Ura Magazine, we have an incredible guest. Honestly, this is probably like my most favorite because we're both we both connect in a way. Um, and I've been so excited to be working with this person. I hope you guys are excited. Make sure to tune in and keep watching because you're in lure mode. Let's give it up to Rosa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My name is Rosa Diaz. I'm from Sunnyside and I'm an artist. Woo! You guys see all this art, right? I made that, I did that. I you did that. You did it. So. You wish you did. You got money like that. Oh my gosh. Girl, you know the camera was like 300 because I bought it on eBay. So was, this is like 800. But that's what I'm saying. That should be expensive. It should not be that expensive. Yeah. Well, I got my Canyon for... Your Canyon? You have a can Canyon? It's Canyon, oh, yeah. My Canyon, damn. <laughs> oh, I got, yeah, I got my Canyon for... um. 1k and what? I got raped bro fuck piece of richard fuck piece of richard never first, go there yeah never go there first of all why are you even buying stuff from there because i used to live by there so and it was black friday too so 1000 and it was black friday i didn't have that scam. i got scammed but um because my my cousin got the same camera but he got two lenses and mm -hmm. i only got one and he has for 600 i was like yeah yeah i got scammed fuck piece of richard I don't just... shop there at all. So yeah, what got you into art? Like, what 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 made you start your career? So growing up, I always liked painting. I mm -hmm. I had a, I used to have a backyard in my crib, so I would always go out there and I play with like play doh. I used to watch cake balls, so I would think the play doh was fond on, and I make my own cakes. And anytime I go to a ninety nine cent store, I loved looking at um, the pencils. The, the erasers, the oh, markers, I used to love those the too. notebooks too. Yo, I used to love notebooks for some reason. What kind of notebooks? Just like notebooks, but like the, the covers. Black yeah, but the covers would be cool. You know oh, what? yeah, I love that. I don't know why, but I always spend my money on like pencils, notebooks, um, coloring books and shit like that. But then growing up, I, I wasn't good. Like I, I, I'm not good at art. Like I, I'm not like, good at art either. Like that shit. This is because you draw like what you want in the moment you know mm -hmm. it takes a long time for me to do that because i I'm stuck sure. at that shit but um you don't suck at it what are you talking about you only make it better than me actually you guys see this right here like this looks fire bro and like the paint that you use is also good like oh, i use like acrylic expensive. but it's not like good acrylic yeah, it's fabric paint. I think that's why it's good. Like, yeah. It's really expensive. But yeah, so my mom would always, um, she would buy me like colored pencils and stuff too, but she knew I wasn't good at it. Like, if you see what I drew back then, that shit was trash. And then don't COVID say, don't say art is trash. Don't and then, trash. but I wasn't really about it back then, so I didn't have to say that because I, I, like back then I just colored to color. Mm -hmm. But once COVID hit, um, <laughs> You have nothing to do at the trip. Like, I, once COVID hit, you really had to pick up a hobby because what were you gonna do at home day? Like, nothing. Right. So I thought my mom, my mom actually, yo, my mom, like, even though she be like, oh, tu haces pura, puras porquerias, she really? Like, your mom like that? It. Like, I think as like, like, the, is she like always the type to be like? Oh, nah, she's not a hater. Shit. Yeah, she's not. Yeah, but she's not a hater. Like, she supports me. But I'm messy as fuck. Like if I paint, I would get it on the couch, on like the TV, everywhere. I would get so it on the she, floor. Yeah, so she hates that shit. That I think that's why she'd be like, put it as putas porquerias, cause like I ruin her shit. Like she she tells me she'd be like, you'd be a little dirty. I'd be like, 
mom it's so just chill. artist yeah like, like, i'm just an artist it comes with the lifestyle mm -hmm. so once covid hit she bought me a big pack of um paints like acrylic paints mm -hmm. or i don't even know and that's when i started painting like for real for real because like mm, i had nothing better to do and they came out good i was like wait i was like i didn't paint is really nice yeah i was good i was like i didn't know i could draw like this because they were good paintings um and so i was like wow maybe maybe i am a good painter maybe i am an artist and that's when i started doing it because i was like okay I, i'm good at that what age is that like was it young it was when COVID hit, like, I really? was like 18, 19, yeah. What? Because I had nothing to do. I was like, let me just pick it up again. So I think maybe it was naturally in my blood. I just... Oh, again, yeah, so you did it before? Um, no, like, when I was little, it would be trash, but as I got older, it got... Oh, you're saying, it, yeah, oh, okay. So, so you maybe, took it seriously, like... Yeah, during okay. COVID, so... That's cool. Yeah, but... I am messy though. I need to. I need to fix that because that's why my mom's beating. First of all, that happens to everybody. I'm not. I'm messing myself. As long as you clean it up after, then it's not like. Yeah. Like and you want your shit to look good. So and fabric paint. If if you work in like art or anything, or you make your own clothes and you use fabric paint, you know that if you spill that shit, it's not gonna come off. Oh really? Yeah. Like if you spill it a little bit on your shirt like this. Wait, wait, it's not gonna come off. Yeah, it's not gonna come off. It's there forever. Like wow. you just have to be like, yeah, I did that on purpose, so people don't think you'd be out here making. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like oh that dot, that black dot right there. Yeah, that was there on purpose. Yeah, like, like it was meant to be there. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? What are you talking about? It's just the what artist talking about. <laughs> what? But yeah, so that's when I started art. It was a. That's cool. Yeah. I started art when I was like, like sixteen or something. But I was in high school. Like I only just did it just for fun. Like I was like, oh, I like these colors, and I mix things up or whatever. But yeah. But like, what's your definition of like expression? Like the word expression and art. I feel like art is whatever you like to do. You, it, it doesn't even have to look nice. Um, it's just what you want to do. Like, mm -hmm. I hate when people. At, well, I don't hate it. I just don't really like it when people are like, oh, can you make me? a toe or commission like basically because they'll be like oh draw a nice thing like butterflies and stuff like that it's like no like, i want to draw whatever yeah I wanna, I wanna, you don't like my art then right i don't want to draw no butterflies i want to draw a clown i want to draw mm -hmm. i want to draw someone like half with like half their face and stuff like that i don't really like drawing like i love that like, creativity and you have to i feel like once they tell you what to make you have to live up to that expectation so Fuck that, shit, that yeah. butterfly that they want has to be a good butterfly. Like, or else, would, like, they're going to give you a bad review. Yeah, or... they're going to be, like, disappointed. They're going to be like, damn, I, I wanted a butterfly, but not like this. Mm -hmm. like, mm, whatever. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel that way if they just bought what I made, you know? Yeah, exactly. So. Like, honestly, I, I feel like a lot of artists, not, not even artists, like, creators, they, like, conform to, like, what that person wants. Yeah. Like, photography, let's say, like there's a wedding like the the person's like i want a picture of us kissing and stuff and it's like no how about i take it as an off guard like a way that you'll like it and stuff like let me do my stuff yeah you hired me for a reason you yeah like my work so let me do it how i want to do it mm -hmm. so people are not like that though but what about what about the word expression like expressing how all right art there's a difference between both words because expressing is like how you express it to someone or like to something or how somebody views it so what do you think like that what's your definition of expression like when i'm sorry like just like you and you should see her pictures guys follow her right now i'll put her instagram right here but yeah your pictures like they like speak like through the picture like literally Sorry, maybe, maybe. like it looks honestly i've seen them like you guys just have to see it. i'll answer some pictures around here but yeah it looks fire like i love it so what would you like say is your definition for that yeah, I, I feel like just ex like <laughs> like just express it like um like if you feel some type of way like just show it like mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. don't don't hold back. I I've, I wouldn't really know how to answer that question because I thought art and like especially really like, same thing like oh like uh create what you like feel you know like mm -hmm. or how you express things like just do it to you think you are yeah yeah. That's a good answer. Because <laughs> if I feel sad like I'm gonna draw something that's sad. Like these smoking little clowns things, 
It's because I, I always be smoking and I like at the you time. You know, I wanted to do that. I wanted to do like a um like a smoking session. You know what's crazy? I was gonna bring um a J, but I was running late, so I was like, is drugs really worth? the thing but i guess it was i was like i I also thought that i was like because um i always smoke i Mm -hmm. feel like people like base my personality around that so when they see me they'll be like yo size and i'll be like yo what's up so i always i love interview what do you mean really you wouldn't be thought to smoke with me like, I, I would like, if I didn't have work today, but I do. So, but yeah, so I I, I love just, like I like I, I like that people at least know something about me before they leave me. They'll be like, "Yo, she smokes," and I'd be mm-hmm. like, "Thank you, I do smoke. Thank you for knowing that." And they'd be like, "Oh, she makes art," and I'm like, "Well, I do make art." Thank you so much. Thank you. Like I like when people notice me or, or, or like notice. Yeah, yeah. me too. I feel, like, I, I feel like that bitch. I mean, like, I'm oh. like, so wait, what's your what's your yeah. sign? I'm a Gemini. But like, you seem so self centered. Like, I love it. <laughs> it's not even people who say that's a bad thing is really it's not a bad thing. Yeah, people they have self love like a lot. Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, everyone's like, oh, Gemini's. Oh, I hate Gemini's. And I guess I'm the what? only Gemini I know. So that kind of like goes towards your, your self censor because mm-hmm. I'm the only Gemini I know. So I'd be like, mm, I don't think I'm that bad. I feel like maybe, no. maybe I'm different, but I'm probably not. I'm probably the same as every other Gemini. But I, I wouldn't know. Cause I don't know. You know, it wasn't even worth it. Guys, if you're in a relationship, do not spend a lot of money on that person unless they're worth it. Like, if they're not reciprocating the same energy, do not do it. For them and if they make more money than you make them pay because mm. you're not even earning much money you basically broke like you i'm not even like that though i wouldn't want people to pay for me i don't know it's my independent side like if we if a guy goes out me i'm gonna pay for my own shit i'm always gonna pay for it or like i'll pay i you used know? to i used to be like that no when it comes to people like friends i'll pay for myself but if I'm dating someone or if I'm talking to someone, they gotta pay because men make more money than women. So That's you who? you what? earn statistically speaking. But like I don't oh know, like gosh. like for instance, my man like he made mm, he makes like oh um, uh, all right, he, make, all right. he makes money. Uh, yeah, he makes money. <laughs> he makes money. <laughs> Not how much, much. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll make like what, like two hundred a week. So I'll be like, bitch, why am I gonna pay for this fifty dollar meal? That's like basically mm-hmm. what i made that week you know how about you pay for it because this isn't gonna really hurt you like yeah this is gonna hurt you're gonna me. get that same money the same day yeah so. exactly so this is basically a free meal yeah so that's the only reason i make well i don't make them pay but i don't mind it because it's like i bet you make more money than yeah you. and if it's like a first day i'm like yeah boy you know you're gonna pay because you want to be in a date with me so i'm about to pay I, if it's a date where you're like yeah i don't see this person that's like yeah, I I I always offer. I just feel like, cause I feel like that's a nice thing to do. Mm-hmm. But deep down inside, I so want them to be like, like, yeah, I mean, I hope why does it save seventy dollars? What are you talking about? <laughs> and the, I feel like I, ho- I hope I hope he's like, no, no, I got it. And I'll be like, you, you I like guys who literally just say it off rip. Like you don't even have to offer. Like they're just like, yo, you know, I got you, right? Like I got it. I like they don't be like they don't be doing that no more because they be like, women want equal rights, right? Mm-hmm. I want. Now when it comes to this, now when it comes to this. Some guys will literally spoil you. Like, my man who's not my man yet. I'm going to keep emphasizing that because you guys think that I have a new man. But he's like, he, he, no, I'm not single. Oh, no, no, oh. I'm yeah. in a situation yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. Before he was my ass. <laughs> and then he's like, why what do you mean you're single? What do you mean? You didn't listen to me that the other day. Yeah, I'm so excited to know who this is. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> but anyways, um, what's it called? He literally, like, He's not even my man, man. So he he buys me flowers like out of the ordinary. You see, because that's how it should be. Like you need to apply yeah, pressure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That. That's what I'm saying. Like they will spend money on you if they want to. Mm-hmm. Like they got the money. Just that's bad. Mm-hmm. Damn. I love when I see my friends go from like bare minimum so, to like, what they does like, exactly. My I love to see yeah. that. That's good. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. So I'm not used to it though. Oh. So I'm like, like ew, I don't want it because I'm not used to it. But yeah. like, I guess like gradually when I keep going, then I'll like it. So. Yeah. But yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, and he like, lot like when we hung out the first time, he got me an Uber, and I was like, hmm. I paid him back because I was like, I don't know, it's mad weird. But anyway, let's, let's get back on topic. Let's oh, but let's not let's not talk about boys. Yeah, like, like, they might be relevant. 
Yeah, honestly. This is Fuck men. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of guys. Yeah, I'm just comments. kidding. I'm kidding. Not fuck men. It's because I want them to fuck me instead. And I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, does your art, like, honestly, does your art make you cry? Like, the art that you make is just like this shit. That's weird. Yeah. No, oh, I thought you meant, do you cry while you make art? I was like, yeah, all the time. Oh, wow. like, I always cry. Um, because I just be sad. So I just be like, bitch, um, that instant thing, you be like, why are you crying? Well, that was more of a joke. I wanted to be like, oh, well, this bitch crying. Because I feel like when people post themselves crying for real, for real on social media, mm-hmm. I'd be like, damn. But I feel like when they do it as a joke, I'd be like, haha, that's funny. You know, so <laughs> so all of these are just paintings that I, I made while I was crying. But these so you just like, paint when you're sad. You don't yeah. paint like when you feel an emotion, like oh, I'm so happy, like I'm joyful. I'm gonna paint something. I don't really feel um uh what's the word um not motivated, but I I don't get any ideas when I'm happy. Like I get mm-hmm. happy, but I'm when I'm happy, I like to live in the moment. But when I'm sad, it's like when I'm like, okay, fine. I'm like you gotta paint. express yeah. how you feel and stuff. I'm the opposite. Like I literally, whenever I feel an emotion, or I'll just paint out in the ordinary just to see colors and stuff. But like, I have to like, just feel anything. Like if I feel sad, mad, confused, I'll be like, oh, okay. Cause I paint like feelings, not like objects or stuff. So if I feel blue, I'm gonna do like a blue sky or something or like a blue chair or some shit like that, you know? I, I have to feel it. Yeah, I guess I, I I just wouldn't know how to express happiness mm-hmm. through a painting. So I just know I just I, this is all I know. Like how to. But like this, I love your like this piece. I'll probably buy it off of you today because okay. I actually love it. It looks so fucking cool. And that's like a um. Why do you talk about all of them? But like, isn't that um? What's it called? You know, the eye. Oh, I want to see them. Oh, like, oh. yeah. Yo, and with these pants, I have to move all the way back because I'm like squished, bro. Like. Yeah. What? That's like a um. Like a. Uh, yeah, the evil thing. eye. So like, yeah. Oh, that's so, evil. No, the evil protect eye is to evil? protect you, yeah. Oh. So people don't do it mal ojo on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did that because people were, I, I thought people were doing it mal ojo on me. I was like, oh. Um, I hate people like that, who are too faced. You, you know what's crazy? Um, yeah, and especially with social media, people can look at, look at your post and do mal ojo just from looking at their phone, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, when I did my nails, everyone was like, oh, I love your nails, I love your nails. And you know what happened? That same day or even the next day, yeah. So I was like, wow, like let me never do that again. So yeah, yeah. So I did my ojo to protect all my bad bitches. So <laughs> if you want, if you want protection, but if it, well, I'm gonna buy it so you can get another one just like this. If um and if you still get in my ojo after um purchasing this, then that's on you. At that yeah, point. I we think, already protected you. Yeah, I think you deserve that mal ojo if you're using protection and it still happens. Yeah, it's it's gone. Mm-hmm. He's like you, you did something. You did yeah. your karma. So, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Have you ever faced like any challenging moments with your like with your art or your clothing? Um, what do you make clothes? Motivation, too? like yeah. I oh, the, the, oh, like other than that, I've seen I've seen that one. Um, not, I want to, but, okay, so, like, back in, like, let's, let's, let's do a, uh, let's oh, one. yeah, <laughs> so, back in the fresh, like, in, in high school, I wanted to have my own clothing brand, but nobody would, like, nobody, everyone was, like, oh, everyone's doing clothes, but everyone's always doing clothes, everyone's always doing something, because mm-hmm. even now, everyone's doing clothes, you know, so, it's, like, just do what you gotta do, because everyone's doing it now, but not everyone actually goes through with it, so, um, if in high school I wanted to do um, clothing, like make clothes and stuff, but mm-hmm. nobody would have, like nobody was like, everyone was just like, everyone's doing it. Oh, you're just following the oh, way. Like the- yeah, but I was, I was like, how am I following the way? Like, honestly, people always think that. Like, let's say I'm wearing like, um, what is those those boots? Something Martins. Doug Martins. Yeah, let's say I'm wearing that right, and then everybody wants to wear it. It's like people are gonna think that like. I'm yeah, sure. it's like I like it. Like, what's wrong with it? Like, yeah, yeah. And so, um, and so I didn't really start making my own shit until after high school. Cause mm-hmm. I was like, and you know what's crazy? More people supported me after high school than when I was in it. Bro, that's so, the same way with me. Like, I literally have girls in my DM trying to like girls who I've literally fucked up literally in my DM. Talking about, oh my gosh, like we should collab dude. I'm like, bitch, I don't Like, you trying to get fucked up again? Like, like, what you trying to say? I don't even fuck with you now, so. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and it, it's the same people that didn't fuck with you in high school that try to fuck with you yeah. after, and that's even weirder. Like fake energy, like, like get that away are from we me, not, bro. Are we not gonna act like you literally talk shit, hated me, or whatever the fuck um, during those four years? Like we were nothing. You were like, four oh, years. I, we matured or whatever. We we're mature. Like no, fuck out of here. That is like what you mean is that I look good now. Like you mm-hmm. ain't mature. I just look good. I'm That's doing good. good. Like yeah, you know you made when it. When people be hitting you, yeah. They're like let's be friends. Like you know, yeah. And it doesn't even have to matter about looks. Like people can see you doing good. Like if you're making music. If you're making um, if you're making money moves, people are gonna hit you up. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be like, "Oh, what's up?" I just want the fame. Exactly. They won't get. Exactly. But yeah. So yeah, what's your favorite part about like, like your art experience, like painting and stuff? What, what do you say is your favorite part and your least favorite? I like the outcome of it. I, I hate, my my least favorite is I. Um, it's not hard to come up with that. Come up with an idea, but I'm. It has to look good, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm not that type of person who can just paint something and it looks good right away. Like, I, I actually have to keep, yeah, I have to erase. I have to, um, I just have to keep erasing. I have to go over something again. I'm not satisfied until it looks like it looks good to you. Yeah. So that's Some people just it's, rush and they're just like, ah, I just need to get it done. Yeah. And, that, that's why like doing this takes a long time. That's also kind of like the hardest part, like just time, it's time mm-hmm. consuming. And oh my gosh, literally like, time passes by so fast. Like you can literally be laying down and you're like, time is so slow, but you'll be moving around. Like time is like, time really doesn't wait for anyone. Like it yeah. sneaks up on you and it's like, damn. You're like dang, like it's already seven o'clock. Yeah, what? and your day just went by so quick. It's like, wow. And like what, one hour turned into like five, five turned into like, 10, 10 to into a day, a day to this like No a day, that was a whole year ago? <laughs> yeah. We're probably gonna look back at this and be like, damn, that was a whole year ago and shit. The, you literally you're gonna be like thirty and be like, Wow, I remember making this episode and I was twenty, like twenty. First of all, we're gonna you're gonna come back every episode. I mean every um every, every what's season? it called? Every season? No, every, every, every year. Season? Every year. Oh, you have a year. You do year. Oh, yeah. I'll do, I'll do I do seasonal. Every. So, 10 episodes is one season. And two. Oh, oh, yeah. It can't be in every season. Like, Imagine you just yeah, like, 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 hello. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite part is the outcome. Just seeing how it looks. And I love hanging it on my wall. And mm-hmm. people come to my room and they'll be like, oh, we have a nice ass room. And I'll be like, thanks. Like, I already know. Yeah, literally. My, my room can. I think my room looks like a museum. I, I think that was the whole goal with you the room. You need to take a picture of your room. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I think I'm really cute. I don't think I've ever seen your room. Yeah, no. Because I always see you taking videos up top like yeah. this. Yeah. And then me making like muscarañas and stuff. <laughs> and the camera and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, nobody really sees my room until they're actually in it. And then they'll be like, oh. I think it's the small details that count. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a lot of little Easter eggs, but people wouldn't really know. I'm crazy. crying. Yeah, I'm in my room. Yeah, I think I don't, I don't know. I just made my room, and I was like, I want this to be somewhere where I'm in it, and I feel like cozy. Mm-hmm. So I love having just art and like. What's your like initial thought on like artists now? Like literally, it can be painters, it can be writers. I know you're also a poet too. Yo, I've been doing everything because I I can't just stick to one thing. Yeah, I don't think anybody can. Yeah, I. Like you get, like you don't get bored, but it's like you get, like you're in your own comfort space. And yeah, you like you, get out. like if you're good at something, just do it. it doesn't even matter if it's two different things. Like mm-hmm. if you like it, just do it. Um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's your initial thought on artists now? Like, oh. painters, writers. Um, like, is it hard to get into the industry, in the painting industry? I don't I think like it's that's hard. the hardest one because I feel like everyone's trying to be like everyone. And like the, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to be like, oh, everyone's copying everyone. No, I feel like once you see an art form or like an art style that you like, people try to recreate it, and then they try to sell it. And it's like, no, you kind of have to make your own, you know? Like because if you don't make your own, it's not gonna be yeah. like something that you made. And and I I think that's why people just end up fading away from art or whatever because they try to copy people instead of making their own. Mm-hmm. So it's like you you really have to like make shit your own like you can't just copy people because 
Like, it looks nice, you fuck with it, you fuck with, you know, you want to sell it to, you do it nice, but at the end of the day, it's not you. And you know it's not you, mm-hmm. so you're just like, mm, I don't like art no more, but you just, you just make it. Yeah, like, like it. yeah. A lot of people do that, honestly. Yeah, me neither. I'm just like, hey, like, what do you get out of that? You're just copying. Honestly, people are just gonna be like, I, I've seen a person who has actually copied somebody else's, like, fashion clothing, and then they got, um, like they came at them for that and they look like shit yeah because it's weird because it's like i get that you like it but if yeah. you like make it your own bro yeah. like, make it different from mine so yeah. you don't have to compare it. and it could be the same style i guess it just mm-hmm. I, I i don't like how people just stick to like that one thing that they copy it's like i guess you could copy it but also make your own mm-hmm. you know i think that's the only thing with art that once people like what you do they won't tell you that they like what you do but they'll copy what you do. So like you won't That's even get deep. back in- <laughs> That is deep, bro. <laughs> like you won't get back in- Like, uh, um, damn, I feel like I say like a lot. Um, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I say like a lot. Um, but I, 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 yeah, I think that like a lot of people don't support me, I guess. But I see that they're into what I'm into. So yeah, they like, copy what you mm, do. Yeah, like- I mean, that's envy. Um, in my local, <laughs> the envy stuff. They're but, like, you know, like I don't like your shit, but oh, I'm gonna copy what you do because yeah. I, I can make it better than you, or whatever. It's like it's not a competition. Like, make your shit your own. That's what makes it your own. Yeah, and nowadays with social media and stuff, it's so easy to support your friends. So I think it's crazy when people post mm-hmm. people about like celebrities, but they don't post about their friends. I'd be like, what's your what's your opinion on like criticism today, like? Do you ever get criticism from people from the work that you make? Uh, luckily, no. I I, I would I, I would feel some type of way people were like, yo, Rose, this is mad shit. I'd be like, yo, the way. But luckily, <laughs> no I way. haven't. Yeah, like, the way for like 30 like hours on the shit and you're like, mm-hmm. saying it's bad. But luckily, I haven't gotten any bad criticism. Um, What I get about criticism is like, if you don't like it, you don't have to say anything. No one asks for your opinion you know and, um because people, it's art you're not supposed to like art is subjective so. yeah so if you don't like it well you don't like it but there's someone out there who's like yeah this is nice this is beautiful this is mm-hmm. but if you don't that's what i feel about because if you don't like it you're, you don't have to say nothing if you yeah. don't like something caidita te ves más bonita that's what, that's what my saying. grandma says yeah. so <laughs> Because you never, yeah, artists are such. So, I was gonna say projective, but I don't. Yeah, this one not. This one not. This one not doing good in college. Yeah, all these words. I'm crying. My vocabulary is just trash. College is not for artists. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but yeah, but yeah, coming from like, I understand what you mean with that like perspective. Like, don't say anything because like. You're not the one making the art, like, I'm the one making the art, so regardless of how you feel. And then I have people who don't even say anything, and then, like, I think that they're saying something, and I'm like, oh, I should just delete it, because they might say something even oh, though they don't say anything. that is the worst, when nobody says anything. You to overthink, and you're yeah. like, yeah, I don't know if I like this shit. And then you look back at it, and you're like, wait, it deleted. I didn't mm-hmm. delete it. Yeah. Or you ask somebody, like, yo, it's so fire, why'd you delete it? Or why'd you take it out? Like, you could have said it was fire when it was there, mm-hmm. like, I don't... I hate so people weird. like that, bro. But luckily, I haven't had anyone tell me that my art is bad. So, because I probably would even like one bad comment, and I would be like, I just said, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, my career's over. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> yeah, coming from like a, a Hispanic household, we're both Hispanic. I'm Dominican, and you're I'm Mexican. Yeah, so we're both Hispanic. So, like, coming from a Hispanic household, like, what do you, what's what's your parents' opinion on like, or like, how do you think your parents feel about? you painting and like you being in the art field um my parents are really supportive luckily you know i, I love my mom and dad um but but um yeah they're just really supportive i'm like glad i have the parents that i do because they i know both. yeah oh uh, they probably anything as long as um because i'm going to college not for art but for psychology so i feel like uh, the last girl i talked to was doing psychology too and what? everyone's a psychology i feel like damn I feel that like you got to do that definitely do yeah. that because in their mind i know that you know they're like 
immigrants or whatever and they came to this country so I could have a better life and they and every I feel like every Hispanic parent wants you to go to college get a degree so you can not go through what they went through so that's what I'm kind of doing going to college but I also have art on the side and it's more like if I get big doing art then fuck psychology fuck being a therapist yeah. fuck all that but therapy is good though to yeah. have yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone needs a little bit. Everyone needs a little help. Like, so, you would want, so you're good at like listening to people and stuff? Yeah, I think I'm good at that. I think I'm good at speaking to people and understanding mm-hmm. them. You're calm. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Imagine so, we just have a therapy session right now. We're just like. This is a therapy session. We yeah, it is. It's calm. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely calming. But yeah. Do you have any fears? Like, Not, any fears at all? My biggest fear is that my parents pass away before oh my gosh. I can give them the life they deserve. That is my biggest fear. Like, a rat can bite me and I just go to the hospital and be like, I bet. First of all, I'm fucking like rats. Yeah, I guess I'm scared of them, but my biggest fear, bro, is like not giving their parents the life they deserve. Yeah, I they like give morning. me everything. I like morning. Yeah, they give me everything. I just hope that they live long enough to like the point where I give it's in the back mm-hmm. so that's my biggest fear that they pass away before i can they can live You're gonna that i was like yo that's crazy i gotta do me praying every night i'd be like god please keep them alive until mm-hmm. i'm out here because i do the same thing i, I feel I, it, I literally said the same thing all over again every night that i like have it in my memory I'm like i've my mom my dad because i'm like, like i say the same thing all over again <laughs> yo praying at night i think is so important even if you don't believe in god like Mm, I think like you have to believe in something, like have faith, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I like praying at night. That should make you feel nice. Like I'm actually gonna be protected. Like, You're Catholic. Um. Yeah. Okay. But I don't, go to church. I don't go to church either. Oh, Christians. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm oh, kidding. Christ. We love you all stop. religions. We're we love canceled. all religions. We love all religions. I'm kidding. You gotta get canceled. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> like I don't. I don't. Yeah. We fuck with all religions. I'm just joking. I'm yeah. Just joking. I'm just joking. But. But yeah. Is there something you would like change as a as a creator? Like something that you would that you would like you wouldn't want to happen to you as a creator like let's say i'm like i'm making a piece of art and like i give it to somebody and when they rip the part like or something or like, like no, no you give it to them and it's like that's not how they wanted it to look like it's how they wanted it to look but like oh you missed a smudge and something that likes an example what would you want to oh. never happen to you as a creator mm-hmm. or like your your artwork that you worked so hard on got ruined or something like something like that i feel like I wouldn't. I wouldn't like if someone caught the toe or someone caught like a piece of clothing or whatever, mm-hmm. and they didn't wear it. Because mm-hmm. like, why did you that buy it? That is did you true. Not like it? Like, then why did you buy it? That is true. So yeah, that that's that that's the only thing that they don't actually wear it. Because it's like, then why did you buy it? Like, yeah. I spent mad time on it, and I thought you liked it enough to wear it. So I'm like, yeah. I hate no that. No one's shit. gonna see my art because you're not even wearing it. Yeah. I like when people post my when they wear my shit on Instagram because I can post it on my feed. Um, so it just shows. Promote. Yeah. It just, and I just like seeing people. It's like wow, you're wearing something that I made. That's mm-hmm. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. I never thought I would make it this far, but here you are wearing my shirt. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You start having like a little dance, like a little um, adventure time dance, like mm. She's wearing my shirt, she's wearing my shirt <laughs> Yeah, you have any regrets as like a painter? Like when you started out? Like any regrets as like a painter and a writer or like a creator? Because you also write as well I think um, losing motivation or um, not stopping but not creating as much mm-hmm. I forgot the word, damn My book had me so bad But I, I, I do this thing where I, I'll make a lot of art at once and then I'll stop. Like, I will oh, post really? for like a month or two. And that's why I'm trying, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this interview because I, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything steadily. Like, I'm not stopping. Like, I, I, I just keep moving forward. Yeah, it's good. Because I haven't posted on my boutique for like. Hey, you, I literally have been waiting. For yeah. That. So it's I, I need to stop slacking. I think that's the thing. Like I need to stop slacking and just actually do it and just not stop. Cause when you're consistent with something, you you get everything you want. Mm-hmm. Like when you're consistent with art, it's also overwhelming like, too. Yeah, cause, cause you're like, like trying to do shit on time and stuff. 
Oh, super. Yeah, that's another reason I stopped because it's like, damn, like a, a tote takes like a day or two to make and it's like $25, you know? So it's like, I'm putting my energy and it kind of felt like I was forced to do it, but now it's just like, <laughs> I want to do it. Schedule, I yeah. Think and, and I don't want people to think that I'm scamming them. So I try to do it ASAP. And then it just like over, like I, I feel overworked. Mm -hmm. So then I just like stop. But now I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna make a big comeback because I know that I, if I'm just consistent with it, I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah, I think that's, that's really important too. Like me, guys, if you're watching this video, it is currently Sunday. Um, I don't know what day, you can just check it, but it's Sunday. Last video isn't was not uploaded on a Sunday and the last video was not uploaded on a Sunday either That's like so hard bro. Like I don't I thought it was gonna be easy, but it's like I'm everything like I'm the Recorder I'm the editor. I'm the one getting the setup. I'm the fashion. I'm not the fashion sorry. I'm the stylist the makeup artist the hair the hairstylist like I'm the one uploading I'm the one posting on Instagram like it's mad shit and it's like so overwhelming I'm like, but I can't stop cuz it's like it's the shit that I like to t like to do, and I should be every yeah. Sunday. So, at least until like season one is over, which is like four episodes more or three or something. I'm so excited to see who you have next. Yeah, I'm so excited. You watch all my videos? I watch them. Yeah. Really? You're yeah. like the only person. Really? Yeah. That I feel like like for people that I've worked with and stuff. I'm telling you, bro. I love seeing my friends just doing what they like to do. Yeah. Because I feel like people who watch yourself like on my magazine, they watch themselves and they're like, okay, I'm done watching it. And then the, like, they don't support other people that are there. Yeah, I watch everyone. I've watched the first one. Um, Gary. Sorry. Gary. I'm like that name. Gary's a fashion designer if you want to work with him. If you want to do some stuff. Gary, yeah. if you see this, you know, hit my lineup. We could collab. <laughs> we could, you know, look at this. That would, maybe that would make some, some like fire shit. Like a collaboration. I feel like, I feel like a fake ass um, fan for not knowing his brand. Oh. What? You don't need to know his brand? No, but I was gonna say Gary hit me up with the Rose Road Boutique and Oh Sin N Y. You know what's crazy? I was gonna say is is his shit Sin City, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> but it, it's close, right? And yeah, it's Sin close. NY. So you it know close. Sin and Y can collab with Rose Road Boutique, just you know let me know. Mm -hmm. But I thought his shit was cool too. I thought I, I was I thought out of everyone, his was the most like his interview was the most like related to because he's like into streetwear I think right. Oh yeah yeah. So I was like oh I fuck with, I fuck with I fuck with this interview. He's just like me. <laughs> so I'm crying. And I and then I watched Ingrid's I watched Justin's and the guy with the guitar. Wow, so you're really up to date. That's crazy. Everyone should be up to date. So if you haven't yeah. already, watch those videos. If you're not in lower mode, bro, you should get in lower mode. Like, come on, we're 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 six episodes in. What are you doing right now? Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. You're exactly. doing nothing. So just watch it. Watch it. Yeah, keep watching. Yeah, keep watching. <laughs> basically, would you change anything like in the arts, like like in the art world, or like, oh. or is everything exactly how it's supposed to be? I haven't really met a lot of painters, honestly. Nah, I my like, feed. I wouldn't change anything about art or anything like that because art, like you said, is what you say, what? subjective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I forgot the word. Um, yeah, because anyone can make art, even if it's shitty. Like those people who all they do is that and they sell it. Mm -hmm. Like anyone can make art and you can sell it. I, I love art because you know it doesn't even have to look good. And people won't even know that you messed up because they think that was like the part. It was part of it, you know. Mm -hmm. I love art too because it's like it's not like fashion design or like photography. Like this is something that you make off scratch. I don't know. It's just a different feeling you get. Like you can make something and you're like, it doesn't even go with how you wanted it to go, but it's like it looks dope. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Like an intention. Like art makes beautiful accents. They make the accents look beautiful. Yeah. Look what happened to me when I was setting up. Really? Like I was setting that thing up and then I think I almost fell. I was like, whoa, and then I caught it. It looks so freaky, right? Yeah. Look guys, you guys even see that? It looks bad. It kind of looks cute, like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so now let's talk about like the pieces that you have behind you. So this one I made when, um, when I was crying. Yo, all of these are when I was crying. I feel like I was like a big ass pussy, but yeah, I was crying and I always feel like I'm two different people, you know, because everyone be a big Rosa, you're so energetic, Rosa, you know how to talk, all this, but 
Ooh, I don't feel that way. I feel like I'm low key awkward and I never know how to shut the fuck up. And so yeah, that's why I made this because I was like, hmm, I'm two people, and I and because I was crying, that's why that's why it looks like gruesome because I was crying. So I was like, let me show how I feel right now. It was, it was a really painful day, as you can see. And then this one, we already know I made it because it's not awkward. I thought people were doing not awkward on me, and I felt like everyone wouldn't fuck with this type of shit. So I was like, let me make something pretty. And then, and then this one, this one was supposed to be like me and my partner in crime because we're both just like, we're not both sad, but I don't know why I made them sad. I just thought it was, it'd be like cute, like, you know, me and my bestie, but because I want, I, I didn't think it would look good with both of them like smiling because. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I think it looks. I think the sad clowns look nice, like you know, little sad clowns. And I made sure he was smoking because I be smoking. And clearly, this is me. And then this is my primary crime because I'm better than my primary crime because I'm pretty. And then, oh, you can see the little droplet. Yo, I'm. I'm telling you, I be crying. Like even my clown had to cry. And then this one I made because of Dia de los Muertos. Um, I felt like when I die, I want people to remember me. So I kind of made it as a self-portrait kind of thing. Like, this is my hair and stuff. But yeah, when I die, I just want to make sure that I also am remembered. So that's why I made it. No, Dia de los Muertos inspired. But that's me. So if you buy it, you could be like, oh, this is Rose's self-portrait. That's all I have. And then I have the other three that I sent. Um, one is with people sticking um, their arms out of the mouth. That one I made because, like I said, I don't ever shut the fuck up. So I made that because that was like all my little voices and stuff, like leaving the man's head. And then the other one, also that one was, uh, is what also inspired me to make this one. That's why they kind of like have the same little vibe. And then the other one is um, another self-portrait. It's a skeleton with a like roses on top of the head. That was also self-portrait because my name is Rosa. So that was actually the ones that I made during quarantine. Oh yeah, tell me a little bit about your poems and stuff. We'll answer some pictures here. Like what's your what's the significance? Is it the same as the paintings that you make? Um for Low key, if I knew how to sing, I would definitely like write songs. Mm -hmm. So my poems are kind of like songs. That's why every poem has a beat when I post it on Instagram. Because I hope that people say it with the beat. Oh. But I can't sing for shit. So I just write poetry. Because I can't sing for shit. I can't rap. You don't know. Really Maybe you can sing. You. Nicki, 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 sorry. <laughs> Nicki Minaj came out with her album when she was 25. So I'm 20, who knows, maybe in, the, in yeah. these next five years, I'll be like, I'll be like, the next like, Saweetie or something. But Saweetie can't, she can't rap, that's her thing. But she could probably sing. But she's not even a rapper. So I'm hoping that Loki become a ghostwriter or something, and I just write the lyrics Ooh, and then someone sings dope. it for me, right? But like, I that's my song. I, <laughs> I don't really know how that works, so I, I wouldn't like do actually go through with it, but I mean, I guess I'll find out where it works. Yeah, yeah, you can start somewhere. Just Google, you know, Google is free. Um, but, like, I mean, in terms of, like, the, your poems have, like, a feeling of, like, abandonment, love, heartbreak. Yeah, all the lyrics that, all the lyrics, all the words on my poems, they're all something that I've been through. So, or want to go through in a way, or, like, mm -hmm. dra or I drastically, like, um, write about it like it, it probably didn't happen that way but because it sounds cool i want to have it that way so all yeah all my poetry has meaning to it and i think they're all cool like they they all are all they're not all about love but the ones that are about love it's more like if he leaves he leaves i heard i've uh, literally i've seen like i read um some of your um i keep saying read and heard like I've read a bunch of your poems and I'm like, girl, like we literally have a connection together because we paint, we write, 
what else do we do together um you model you don't yeah. th- you don't know it but you definitely model like you're good at modeling oh my gosh so good i wanted to go into modeling that's why i did the magazine the the actual restyle magazine but covid um once covid hit i, I started know. breaking out od i don't know if i ever so. um heard of that, the of that one. Magazine? yeah i have like the oh, i should have brought it it was like an actual magazine like a book but if you want to go to modeling, I'm not going to go to these casting auditions together. Cause I oh, have, fuck that shit, bro. <laughs> you don't like, you don't like, oh, I, cause I, I, I've been modeling since I was 15, bro. I would have been like a model by now, but like they have like a stereotypical function. Like you have to be tall and like skinny and pretty face. And it's like, no, why can't I just be a fucking model, bro? So I kind of gave up on that yeah. realm of my life. With but. social media, anyone could be a model now. And that's why I like, like that's media. always been social media though like i've literally been on social but media for so long for it, like, yeah imagine getting paid like imagine getting paid for this you you are one day we're man- you are yeah we're gonna manifest that right now, that's so. what our yeah let's just this do that is, for a moment this is Le- leo's this is leor's am i saying it right leor's. i don't know what even is that <laughs> lore leor oh leor my leor. magazine leor. Le- leor <laughs> Le Ur has a lot of. Le Ur! We're gonna manifest that Le Ur has a lot of. Ex- exit though this year. Mm-hmm. Um, excellent. We'll translate for people who don't speak yeah, Spanish. This year. Stuff, but. You're gonna get paid. You're gonna get paid. You're yeah, gonna get paid I'm gonna have fun. It. Yeah. Even if it's just the I'm thing. bringing all you guys up with me. YouTube starts to give you one penny uh, per video when you have 100 subscribers and they get, I think, like more than 300 views. You get like a penny. Penny? So. That, <laughs> a penny? You're gonna like, have that penny, like, right there. You know, this is the first penny ever. This <laughs> yeah. is the most famous penny Yo. that Laura has ever received. That'd be funny. Hang it up. But yeah, if I read one of your poems, like, would I instantly get what you wrote there? Or would, like, some people... It'll, yeah. it'll be different for, for certain people. I think the message is there. I don't use any fancy words. Like, big words use, like these yeah, college I, professors and shit. Uh, yeah, I, it's not... Like... What's that? Not I'm just gonna get Bob Marley. Um, what? Dick, dick, dick whatever. Um, Who? Moby Dick. Oh. So, yeah, it's not like that. It's just like, like yeah, it could be songs. Should I? Should I read? Yeah, you can. Okay. Do you think of me from time to time? Does your heart skip a beat when my name is brought to light? Stars out and they remind you of how I shine. Everywhere you go, I know what comes to mind. Ooh. Now you're out here imitating my personality. That shit's kind of flattering. Ooh. It's like we'll always be tied together like two birds of a feather. But Ooh. I'm probably just babbling. <laughs> um, when you meet up other bitches, is it me you wish you were linking? Oh, Lord. <laughs> but uh, ain't ever had, ain't had the chance to let everything sink in. But if you ever miss my voice, just call up my phone. Mm-hmm. I know I don't be answering anymore, but you know I love the boast. Oh, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> I'm not a rapper. That was fire, yo. But yeah, that it's just fire. It's just um, yeah. Most of them are just about how if you leave, you leave. But if you stay, welcome. You stay. That is welcome. It's not gonna be the best, but I promise I'm gonna make it work. Like I like a person who stays. Like yeah. friendships, relationships, just anybody, because they're like yeah, you've been with me with the, in the ugly and stuff. And I try to make it known that I don't care. Like mm-hmm. you can leave and I don't care. Like I'll be good. I'll be valid. Like I'll find another. I'll find another bitch to fuck with. Like it's whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that's my poetry. It just be about how e- big my ego is because I think I'm that bitch. You are that bitch. What are you yeah. talking about? Don't ever think that you are, because you are. Yeah, don't ever think. Yeah, I should. Yeah, you're right. You I are. Am, I am. I am that bitch. Put that in your head. Stem it in your head. And I want bitches who know their words to be like, oh shit, I can relate to this. Mm-hmm. So that's my poetry. Keep that in mind, guys. But yeah, what's your creative process like? Like, I know you said you you paint when you're sad, but like, what's it like? Like, do you have? Are you like a centered person? Like, you have to have your paintings on this side. I mean, not the paintings. The um. What's it called? Uh, the pastels or whatever the fuck you use. I don't even know. What do you, what do you I use? I use paint, yeah. Like your paint on this side, your or like is it just discombobulated and you're just like, yeah, I just paint how I, I yeah. paint. Yeah, I miss this fuck. Like that's how you yeah. think, that's like how you execute your paintings and stuff? Well, my room is already set up so that like my paintings are like oh. in one position. 
Mm-hmm. But I miss it as fuck, so that everything ends up just being everywhere. But it's, it's, it's just the, me and my room just chilling on my chair. But I, 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 I stopped painting on my bed because, like I said, my mother gets mad. She'd be like, Rosa, why the fuck is your paint on the bed? I'm like, yeah. Wait, I'm not painting on the bed. I mean, probably my bed. Like the covers and stuff, yeah. but like I paint on the floor because I get to like stretch and like do all that stuff. Whatever. I, mean, I can't stretch. But like I no not stretch, stretch. I mean like I'd be like really close to the painting. Oh. Like I can't do that. That's why, why? I mean, that's why. That's why I have like a piece of like board. Yo, bro. My like I can't like physically. I mean like I I try to do this like that, but like five minutes in my back be hurting. Me too. So that's why I'm like eh. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's how I stop. I just be like, damn, my back hurts. I need a rest. And I just be like, like, I just fall asleep. I just, I just so, yeah, like I'm that. tired. Yeah, that's, that's enough. You ever ate so much that you get, you just fall asleep? You're just like, dang. <gasps> yeah, that, I'm that type of person. Like, if I eat a good ass meal, I'm gonna knock out right after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm that type of person. That's when it peaks up. Like, I don't know why. I'm just like, um, oh, so, like, you ever done like this? When you do like this, guys, you know that you're like full. You're just like, oh my gosh. When your pants don't fit you no more, you know that's when yeah, I've had that happen to me. I'm like, dang, bro. I had to no, literally... Just because I'm skinny does not mean that shit does not fit me. I literally warm pants that do not fit me. I'm like... And that's after I eat, too. I be getting so bloated, yo. Oh. You guys do not be knowing. But, yeah. What's your, like, initial thought on, um, like, the creative things that you do? Like, like... You know what I mean? Like, your initial thought, like, what you see is, like... Like, how do you feel about what you see? Like, you know, you, I know you said that you, like, you're like, oh, I made that shit myself. But, like, what is what is your viewpoint? Like, do you ever change your mind about something? Like, I shouldn't have done that. I should have used this color instead of that. Oh, yeah, but when I think like that, I just change it. And then, and then I'm just mad. No, but what if you're, like, about to sell it? Like, you can't change your, or, like, you just be handed to Ooh, that person. Oh, I've been thinking about that. I've been like, Like, does they really like it? Yeah, that's why, that's why I hate when they don't post it. Because it's just like, did you like it? Mm-hmm. Like, did you, did I fuck up? Is that why you're not wearing it? Yeah, that, that, when, I just be like, it, the, it, am I catfishing you? Like, did it look different in the picture? Yeah. And you're getting something different? Yeah. I'm trying to sell just, my art, because I don't know if people are going to feel. Well, yeah. I don't sell it, because I don't, I don't like selling my shit. I don't know. I know how you feel about like the shit that you make is like that one you can't make it you can make another one like that but it's not gonna be like that yeah, one because yeah. it's like so i that's my biggest but so far everyone's been content nobody has t- like told me like oh this is just ugly mm-hmm. because I'm telling you, it's not like, like you literally put in work into like what you do i've seen people just like do whatever and it looks so distorted but like you take your time with everything like you use the specific colors and shit so i find that very very dope but yeah um yeah, as a creator, what bothers you about, like, the creative world today as a creator? Yeah, just that everyone, like, copies each other. Mm-hmm. Like, you can do your own thing. I-, I wouldn't say copying because I guess everyone adds their little spin to it, but I just want everyone to have their own personality. Don't just follow the wave and don't and don't tell people that they're following the wave either because people do whatever they want to do, like... Everyone's going through different stages in their life, so just because someone started their own brand and coincidentally someone else did too, like mm-hmm. you shouldn't really bash on them. That's really it though. Just that I feel like more artists need to be themselves instead of looking on Instagram and being like, oh my god, I like that, so I'm gonna sell that too. Mm-hmm. That's true. I find it very hard. Like, I if I see, I'm telling you guys right now, if I see a person doing a magazine that's kind of similar to mine, which by the way, there's nobody doing this shit, like, you will not see one. A magazine that's just for creators any creator that you are and a youtube channel that's just for creators so if somebody is gonna if i see somebody do that shit yeah, i'm gonna have envy you. No, they do. yeah they you. They don't because i'm gonna have envy i'm be like no you did not make that shit beforehand i made it so but anyways what impression do you want to leave on like the viewers watching this i want people to think that i'm um, good vibes i want people to she like, she wow. is she definitely is <laughs> like i've met people not even before the mag like before the magazine i've met people literally who are like their mind is not there like but you're you're definitely there thank you <laughs> thank definitely you. Cool. i don't want people to think that i i have no personality or that i'm boring or that my art doesn't actually represent me or that oh um on instagram she looks like this but in person she's like that I want mm-hmm. people to be like, oh shit, like she's actually cool, you know? That's the only impression I want to leave on people that 
my personality is what makes me me, you know? So if you're watching this, I hope you laughed. I hope you smiled. I hope you giggled or whatever. <laughs> because that's 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 the only thing I want. For people to be like, I bet. She, she, she's that's chill. That's so cool. That is so cool. Because sometimes I feel like my personality is all I have to offer. Like yeah. I keep forgetting that like I'm I keep forgetting that I'm pretty, I know how to dress, I'm First an artist. Not pretty, you're beautiful, so gorgeous, job dead perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Stunning. So, exactly. Heavenly, like guys, please do not like limit yourself to just one word. Like say it every day that like, you're like fucking beautiful. You who's watching this is beautiful. Okay. But yeah. So yeah, what's Baby. what's to come for like Rosa? Like what what are your you don't have to tell us your whole goals and shit, but like what's to come? Like what do you what do you want this magazine to expose your your work? Like does that even make any sense? What do you want the world to know about Rosa? About like the the artwork that you make? I want people to know that even even if like my art, like I say, oh, I'm sad when I draw it. Like the end result is always like I'll be okay. You know, like I'm okay. I want people to like know that my art is it's nice. You, anyone can wear it. It's weird. It's unique. You know, I want people to look at someone wearing my tote or the back of my um, sweaters or whatever and be like, yo, that's fire. Like that's different. I feel like everyone wears nice things. Like like. Like pretty things, like butterflies or like mm -hmm. totes with flowers or something. But then you see something new and you'll be like, "Damn, Rosa did that." Like, like it's different. Like you don't yeah. see shit like that. That's why I love to see like creative shit that you don't see. Like you rarely see it. Not like repetitive shit. Like people who put like zippers on pants and shit. Like make that shit oh, different. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, because once one style goes like crazy, everyone just starts copying it. It was really. Oh yeah. Funny, yeah. Like oh, that looks fire. But I hope that like, in the long run, with everything, um, like myself, my art, what I create, my life and everything, I hope that um, in the end, even if I don't, okay, so I hopefully will make it in the industry, like the create, creative You industry, will? What do you mean? Where it's either my art or acting or modeling or somewhere, I just want to be in the industry. Um, like even if I'm like 40 and I finally mm -hmm. hit my first movie or like oh, or know. anything, you know, like at least I made it, at least I tried. But if I don't make it in the industry, I, I hope that like like I'm going to college for psychology. I hope that that works out. I hope that I make good money, like have a family, whatever, Definitely. like a normal life. But at least I died knowing that I tried. Yeah, that's you know? better than not doing it at all. Yeah, I, that's why it's like I'm doing all this, and even though people might be like, "Oh, like she's she's been trying since she was like 12," or like whatever, like I mean, not everyone's gonna make it, and not everyone mm -hmm. makes it at a specific age. Mm -hmm. Like Billie Eilish, like she made it at like 17. I was like, "Damn, she was so like lucky." But other people make it when they're like 50 or like 90. Right. Yeah. But we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But low key though. Hiking, and she's pretty. Like everyone, 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 loves, everyone loves white bitches. But the bitches could be ugly, but because they're white, they they dad get cups. Yeah, like, yeah, like bad baby or well, Vicky, you know, well, Vicky. Yeah, like damn, oh people gosh. love white bitches. I'm crying. Well, thank you, Rosa, for coming in and talking with me. Thank you um, for having me. I, I love having you. It was so much fun. <laughs> we actually talked a lot. Like I actually lost track of the questions. I'm like, well, you're already answering them, kind of. <laughs> so it's cool but don't forget to like share comment down below who you think is gonna be the next artist um what else subscribe to our channel of course and also turn on your post notifications because if you're not how are you gonna know this video is out if you don't have your post notification all like makes no sense right um now rose is gonna show us uh, like a little Bob Ross tutorial on what she does to paint to make her uh, creative paintings and like artwork spark um, If you're watching this keep watching you're in the or mode. Don't get out, please. We're almost done. Let's go So I was told to um, Paint something that traumatized me and for me that was my weight. A lot of people are like, oh, um, Rosa, your weight 
It's really not that much like, come on, like, people starve to death. Yeah, well, that's all I have to say. Yeah, well. So, I guess the reason that it was really traumatizing was because I wasn't really able to express myself until I lost the weight. Like, everything just looks so ugly on me. I literally felt like I myself was ugly because I didn't even look how I wanted to look. So, I'm just going to draw a bunch of little plants because they represent everyone who made fun of me because everyone who made fun of me is just a big ass clown. Just kidding. But, um... But yeah, but I'm the biggest clown of them all, so... I'm gonna do a really big one. I'm just using primary colors to draw. Oh my god, my, my posture is so bad when I paint. I only use primary colors because, um... You can always just mix and match, like... That's all you need. Use red, yellow, green, and blue. Oh, and black. I don't even know if black is a primary color or not. I don't even know what this is. Um. So yeah, I just literally just paint triangles and then and then I outline them to make it stand out more. Literally just triangles and then for the smile, I just whoop, not whoop, like little whoop. I always like drawing clowns because I feel like everything in life is just so funny. Like, nothing really is that serious. Nothing in life should be ever that serious. Unless you're like terminally ill or something, then I guess life is that serious. But, I, like I said, I didn't even have it that bad. All it was was my weight, so... I guess hashtag blessed like god was, was like i could have made you poor i could have made you ugly but all i did is make you fat so just get skinny bitch and i did next i'm gonna go in with the red i love using red because i don't know i just i love that shit so much Red is such a nice color to add to something. It always gives you like a nice pop. A red lip, ooh, like makeup wise, mad nice. I don't have white on me right now. And I don't really want to get it because... What's it called? It's my four. <laughs> but after that, I'm going I'm to give it some... give it some teeth because I have nice teeth. Okay. And then I go ahead and give it a tongue. If you suffer from body dysphoria or something, just know that your head is lying to you. Or maybe you do have an ugly body, but whatever. It's, it's what God gave you. And you're young, bro. Like... You, even if you don't like how you look now, in 20 years from now, you're going to wish you looked how you look now. Because that's your peak. Everyone is different. You shouldn't ever compare yourself to anyone else. I think that's really what got me, what's it called? To love myself, that it's like, fuck it. Even if I'm fucking ugly and fat, even though I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm perfect and, I'm, and my body is beautiful. But... Damn, I can't put that up. But yeah, like I'm not gonna look any different way. Even if I get a plastic surgery, like that's the that's it. Like I'm done. This is <laughs> if I get plastic surgery, I just know it look bad because I don't even got money like that. So I know that whoever I pay is gonna do a badass job. And I'm this whole time is just me chatting. I'm sorry, you guys. Just follow what I'm doing. Um, 
color wise it doesn't matter because it's what you feel you know what i'm saying but i am using red for the next clone because i'm gonna mix it with Also, if this shit looks like trash, sorry, because this is my first time actually painting on something like this. They're all smiling because everyone's just always laughing at me. Everyone's gonna be funny. You know what sucks that when you're chubby you literally a joke to everyone everyone even if i didn't say a joke people would think i was joking because i'm chubby like most of the time i'm not even joking and people would be like oh my god Rosa, you are so funny and i'd be like what the fuck did i even say bitch People be like, you're that funny friend. Damn, that's crazy. Even if I, you know, even if I did have bigger problems, my biggest problem would always be how I look. Because for some reason, we all think that that's so important. Even though when we're 90 and about to die, looks isn't even gonna matter, like at all. And I'm just giving myself some hair because I have nice curly hair. I'm gonna give the rest of these faces too. But I'm gonna give them ugly faces because art because even if you think something is gonna come out bad it never does mm, i'm probably gonna look back at this and be like mm, that was kind of bad person. just kidding i love my mm. yes. okay this is what i have I look so good and why do I look good? Because So yeah, this is me, right? The big one, we all know this is me. And then this these are just the people. And that's that. <laughs> and that's it for this video. Thank you guys.
guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. You can see more of me on my Instagram. Uh, I am at, at Smacked Rosa, but Smacked is spelled with a four, and Rosa is spelled with the letter, not the letter, the number zero. So go follow me. I also have my official brand which is Rose Rose Boutique. So if you want to go shop secondhand clothes or maybe even cup a tote, go follow them.